Hello, I'm Neil Finn, and I'm here to stake my support for So They Can. For many years now, Cassandra Treadwell and her team have been doing amazing work, helping to build schools and places of refuge for children in some of the poorest areas of Africa, Kenya and Tanzania. To be specific, these places are now really well established and they have enabled pathways um, for educational opportunities and success for a whole lot of kids who wouldn't have had any chance of it. So at a time when we're all concerned for our family safety and our community safety and the pandemic, it's a really good time and very important, I think, to think about the world as one planet and other people just like us struggling in places that are a lot less fortunate, difficulties we can only imagine. So they can are really out there on a very direct level addressing these concerns and helping kids achieve their potential. That's why I'm supporting them and I hope you will too. Hi there, my name is Thomas and Mackenzie. I'm an actress who's been in films like Jojo Rabbit and Leave No Trace. Um, I think that a big part of living a fulfilling life is not just living it for yourself, but also living it for other people. With that in mind, So They Can is an organization that I've looked up to for a really long time. In an ideal world, we'd all have access to quality education and be able to walk through life with a feeling of empowerment. I think So They Can is leading us towards that world. And I'm really excited to join them on that journey. Hello everyone, uh, Conrad Smith here, former All Black and long time uh, investor for So They Can. Um, I've been involved with the charity a, a long time and it's uh, had a big impact on um, my life because I've seen firsthand the, the work they do in, in the communities in Africa and um, I'm truly in, inspired by both the work they do but the the priority they place in education and empowering the community over there um, to help themselves to rebuild their own communities um, because I, I think everyone who goes to Africa and, and sees these types of places is often left with the feeling that any charity you give or anything you do give to these communities is just a drop in the ocean but when you start to realise the work to do, that can be done with schooling and education and teachers is is really the best hope um, and the best way forward that you can the best path that we can take and in return you learn so much having been there twice um, the the learnings that you get from them is also something that will live with me for um, a long long time the sense of gratitude um, the sense of happiness even though they don't have material wealth um, these people still find happiness and um, it's that is one of the things that's left a lasting impression with me so it's why um, I know I always enjoy being involved with the charity and I encourage any, anyone else um, to, to get involved and to support this, the wonderful work that this organisation does. Hi, good morning. My name is Peter Mathias and I'm a writer and I host food tours all over the world, which means I travel a lot and I get to see how other people live. My particular interest is women and children. Quite often it's women and children who are contributing the most to a culture and it is they who seem to get the least help. This is where So They Can comes in. They educate children. If you give a children an, if you give a child an education, then you've changed that child's life forever. Kia ora. My name is Miranda Harcourt, and I'm proud to be an ambassador for So They Can. The goals are clear. The projects are carefully developed. The workers are local. The aid is sustainable and empowering. So They Can is so inspiring. Come and join us.